I want to tell you guys the three, top three most incredibly important things that anybody, any of you can do for yourself, for your health. It's not the top three herbs. It's not, you know, you have to spend a million dollars on all this stuff. It's just three things that anybody can do for free or not really that expensive. Everybody. I don't care if you're my client, if you're my friend, if you're a family, anybody I meet, you're a stranger on the street. I'm going to suggest, if you ask me my advice, these three things that you do, okay? Number one, whether you're an herbalist or not, the most important part of natural medicine, holistic medicine, is being fully confident in the knowledge that food is medicine, okay? Ingrain that into your brain. Food is medicine. <clears throat> that means apple, banana, pomegranate, orange, vegetables. God forbid vegetable, please, please eat vegetables. This here, this is a jar of bacon fat that I keep in my fridge. I cook my vegetables in bacon fat. People are like, I don't like vegetables. Freaking fry them in bacon fat. Everything fried in bacon fat tastes delicious. I don't give a shit who you are. I guess how I got my kids to eat vegetables. It's delicious. Just eat it. <clears throat> also, part of the food is medicine thing. Fat, animal fat is good for you. Butter, bacon fat, um, coconut oil, olive oil, avocado oil, uh, any of the cold pressed oils. They're all good for you. Corn oil is not good for you. Vegetable oil is not good for you. Because think of it this way. What part of the vegetable is the oil? Where do you press the oil out of that corn? You don't. <laughs> so food. Food is medicine. What you put into your body fuels your body. So it, that is the number one first thing I'm going to ask everybody. Okay? Number two. Second thing. Probiotics. Do you have any clue how critical your gut health is to the rest of the functioning of your entire freaking body. Um, I, have, I have helped people heal conditions they didn't even know they had just by getting onto a good probiotic regime. And that means fermented foods, yogurts, or once again, this stuff, that the link is in my bio. I keep telling you guys to take this stuff because I spend 40 bucks for like two months supply. It's not expensive. Um, if you're taking, if you're starting off, you want to take two a day and that means, you know, two a day is going to be 40 bucks for a month, but that's still fucking half the price of like every other probiotic I've ever seen. Um, and it's awesome and it works great. So keeping your gut healthy is the second thing. Absolutely. A hundred thousand times. And the third thing anybody can do to maintain health, whether that's physical health or mental health this is extremely important for mental health. Get your ass outside. Try to get your ass outside at least once a day, even if it's only like 15 or 20 minutes, something like that, okay? Uh, preferably 30 minutes if you can. Frick, five, 10 minutes on a cold day, I don't care. It's, if it's like 12 degrees, I don't wanna be outside either. Get your ass outdoors, into nature, touch a tree. If it's summertime, barefoot. And by the way, you're seeing the incense going right now. I made that myself, so it's not chemical or anything. But anyway, get your ass outside. So. Food is medicine, gut health is critical, get your ass outside. If you listen to nothing else I say, please let it be those three things.